Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to John Schaefer's At The Gates for Day 3, Part 3. And in the last part, we started constructing all of these wooden structures, trying to build up to the permanent stone structures, which was very important. And uh, we've made a lot of mistakes. We, we've, you know, forgotten things, we've missed things, we've misunderstood things, but that's the nature of learning a game. And as I make mistakes, you learn from them as well. And I learn from them as well. Making mistakes is always an important part of learning. Now, in this part, we are going to be building stone structures and establishing a permanent economy, which will propel us forward to the rest of the game, which is... Oh, no, don't do that. Which is... Uh, I don't know, we haven't found where Rome is, but we've honestly not scouted all that much. We've sort of hit a dead end here. And I don't know if maybe Rome is to the west or anything, but... Yeah, there's, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. We finished our turn and I am just about, yeah, I just about am converting, uh, I'm, I need to convert wood into coal and then coal into stone blocks or bricks rather. So I'm currently training a coal maker, which is going to give me the stone blocks needed to build permanent structures which uh, we should be able to figure out soon. Now this guy, I picked up this guy and, well, he's just sort of stuck. <laughs> we found a monastery all the way over here, but uh, besides that, we're at a bit of a dead end. Um, so let's just head back this way. Uh, we can't scout down here because we die in the desert. Is that a... That's a deserted village. If we go there, we might be able to pick something up, but going down there will hurt us. Okay, but next turn, we do get a coal maker, so that's gonna be what we need. Okay. Settlement is idle. We have you, coal maker. Okay, we are now... So coal maker... Yeah, we used five stone blocks to train that. Produces four coal from two timber each turn. So our timber is now going to be minus two converted into other resources. And the coal is going to be converted by our uh, brick maker. Okay. And then from the brick maker, we need to build a woodworks, which costs 20 stone blocks. It's expensive. Um, if we just make some money... When the caravan comes by, we might be able to buy some stuff to speed things up. But do I want to... Currently weapons, we have 20 weapons. I wanted to turn Radulf into a spearman. So I'm going to do that. Spearman to Radulf. We bought all those weapons for a reason. So that I can get a spearman, clear out this farm, get this farmer down to that farm. Hmm. Study a profession. And then someone on YouTube actually told me I should be getting cheese because that's just really good. But where is cheese? Is that che there are cheese makers, right? Okay, what does cheese makers actually do? Cheese makers produce a large amount of cheese and the quantity being based on the number of cattle and sheep added to your stockpile by constructing a pasture on them. So I do have 25 cows and three sheep and two horses. Training them requires tools, so I need 10 tools to do that, which I do have. So, resource consumed minus one salt per turn. So I can buy salt, I think? I buy salt to convert the milk I have into cheese. That's something that I might want to try, because we do have cattle. That will be good. Hmm. Goku says, hello Zach, I'm a huge fan, watched all Pharaoh and Caesar Emperor videos. Thank you so much, Gokus. I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay, money's coming in okay. Thanks to this trading post. Yes, clans are idle. What are we doing here? Right, you... Can you... Okay, you just need to get there. And you... You're a little damaged, but I guess... We just try... Maybe we'll try pop down that desert and see if we die or not. <laughs> Is this a new game? Yes, this is a new game. It released recently. And it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. And these weather effects, and there's climate and weather in this game, and that's very interesting and important. 
And it sort of ties in, because this is by John Schaefer, the lead designer of Civilization V. And the new Civ VI expansion is supposed to have weather and climate as well. So uh, that is an interesting coincidence. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just an idea that's always been floating around. Clans are idle. What do we got? Oh, we fully hunted that stuff. I accident. I forgot about that. Mm. The enemy is left rattled. Your army bloodied and sore. Okay. I accidentally overhunted some stuff there, but I guess that's fine. Um, I don't really know what to do with this hunter. Te Excelius, you're currently six in honor. Hmm. Okay, but we are getting stone blocks, so that's good. Caravan is here as well. Maybe I just use you to explore down this side a little bit. Uh, we have a spearman, which needs to go up this way. And we have a caravan. So how much is a stone block? It is expensive. Okay. But perhaps... Do I want to speed it up that much? I'm getting 2.1 a turn. If I just buy some, it could speed things up. Maybe I should buy salt as well. Hmm. Hmm. Parchment is always important as well. I think I will buy six stone blocks to speed it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a little pricey. And I'm also going to buy salt. Because we are going to be getting a cheesemaker soon. So I just need to figure out how this actually works. I'm going to buy like four units of salt. I will make it six. Six units of salt. And is there anything else we want to buy? Mm, I don't think so. No, I think that's going to be it for now. We're still getting a positive on wood collection, surprisingly, despite minus two. Settlement is idle, so I don't have... Hmm. I need all of this. So I guess I just produce treasure for now. Next clan is coming in in 12 turns. Perhaps I can change this guy. Hmm. Otokar is unhappy. You are... Started with livestock. Perhaps I could retrain this guy into a cheesemaker and then train this guy into. Yeah, that could work. So, yeah, we're gonna bring you back. We're gonna bring you back. Good, good. We're just going to shift some people around here, because once we get a permanent logging camp of woodworks, that's going to be probably all the wood we need for now. Serdic has accepted a gift from Drest. Drest has given a gift of treasure to Serdic. A barley farm has degraded and will soon shut down. It's this, right? So I think I can continue... Um, harvesting this as long as I don't exhaust it and there's also how many turns left? 10 turns of that left I don't want to exhaust these fields because I want to turn those into stone farms. By the way this is... that is also wheat is it raining here? Are you trapped? Oh it's raining so you can't move. Okay that's fine. Uh, we were going to use you to just have a quick scout down this way you are gonna make your way down here and we'll produce some treasure. Oh wait, he made it. Um, not you, you. Enter settlement so that I want to retrain Otokar. Mood. Right. He's not in a great mood. Oh, Cheesemaker is only next turn as well. Okay. Finish turn. So we're at 14 stone blocks. 
getting close, it's getting close. And Shadowmind just gifted a sub to Ortrus. Thank you so much, Shadowmind, and welcome, Ortrus. Now, Spearman, making your way. You. Okay, there's nothing of interest that way. Start walking back up. You just have to head that way. We're going to walk into the rain here. Okay. Settlement is idle. I wanted to train Otokar. How many turns would it take? 12 turns. Why so much? Um, wait. What what discipline is that? Cheesemaker is the light brown, which is livestock. Yes. So we're moving him away from crafting. That's fine. Yeah, abandon the current profession, logger. Okay, we're going to retrain him into livestock study a new profession and besides that I don't think there's anything particular I want to do right now right I think I'll just grab these low-level techs right okay now we got 16 stone so I need you to get into there enter settlement you are going to make your way over to clearing that off. You are going to start coming back up north. You might as well scout that. Great, thank you. Oh, there's a... Hmm. I guess we just stand there for a little while and see what happens there. Hmm. Now, Otoka has been retrained. If I wanted to make him a cheesemaker, it's now 10 turns. I'll probably want to spend a parchment to upgrade that as well. But I wanted to take uh, Einar, who's currently wood collector, and make him a logger. Yes. Einar is going to become the logger. Great. Good. Hmm. Retrain him into livestock doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, now, now that you say that out loud, yeah. Retrain him into livestock. Hmm. Okay, so Einar is now a logger. Right, this is Einar, right? Yeah. Who's gonna... We're gonna have 20 stone next turn. Also, why is this guy so strong? I don't understand... Your army, 12 attack power, 10 defense power. I'm just gonna have to hit him. This farm is so strong. I don't understand why it's so strong. Can you cross over to here? Yeah, okay. So, there's one supply here. Oh, I see. Okay, you're just gonna skip right there. Okay, now I wanted to boost Otokar in livestock. This will cost one parchment, yep. You're gonna be a cheese maker. And let's just grab... I know, just grab the low-level techs. And then we have 20 stone and we can build our first permanent building. Ooh, some clans are feuding. Okay, now... The enemy is crippled and driven off. We're bloodied and sore. We will survive this. And I'm going to capture it. Because that... is good. Yes. Now, that guy is still there. We have this farmer. But I don't even know if we're going to be able to use this farm because it's not within our territory. Oh, there's more... S I didn't realize there was so much land up here. Now you... There's zero supply on all of these tiles. That guy is dying. 
I can't make it onto that next tile. But if I head to the right, he might attack me, but then I could swing into that village and out the other side. Hopefully. One, two, three. Okay. We're gonna go one turn here. Right in the middle of the desert. Okay, Otokar. How much does it cost to... It does cost, right? Ten tools. Okay, we do have ten tools. But I think it'll be worth it to train Otokar. It'll take six turns. Hmm. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Also, these two, what has happened? <sighs> A major feud has broken out between the clan Arndt and the clan Waldemar because of repeated clashes caused by spending too much time together. Each is demanding the other be punished in the settlement. It's the coal maker and the brick maker. We need both of them. Mm. Yellow tiles are safe, you just need to encamp the next turn. Okay. I was wondering a while ago why the number on your food stock was going yellow. It means the certain points believe it was 24, 26. The production of food was a penalty of 50%. Right. Okay, thank you. It's just me. What happens if I just don't do anything? Do they both become upset? Right, if I punish one, I'll lose discipline and profession. Why? Why? Why are those two? Of all the two. They will stay unhappy. I, I can't punish them yet. I need the stone. And the game just crashed. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna jump back into the game here. It does save every turn because of this, I think. So, yes, this game does crash. And... Hold on. I think I have to end process. No? Is it? Steam still thinks it's running. Okay, let me just restart Steam. Okay. <laughs> Launching up Steam again. Don't worry. Let's launch the game. Okay. We're back in the game. Load the game. Uh, end of previous turn. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Couldn't decide who to punish. So game punished me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we're just gonna let them feud. And the feud crashed the game. Okay. So, well. Yep, yeah, that's where we're finishing the turn. Right there. You know, a lot of the negative reviews on Steam are because of the crashes. Cerdic of the Saxons has an important matter to discuss. What is the important matter? Greetings, my friend. I just wanted to stop by and offer you a small token of my appreciation. You receive 10 treasure. <laughs> I don't want your garbage. Get reputation, huh? Um, you know, I'm just gonna say thank you. I'm just gonna say thank you. Okay. Now, you, I wanted to build our first permanent stone structure, which is the woodworks. Plus one timber per turn. Currently, we're losing minus two. Border range of two tiles. So, I've never built a stone structure. Right? This is... So, this is a permanent building that will not deplete the resources. So, build that. And you, we can't use this tile until we expand. Right. 
So perhaps instead I just send this farmer down this way to build a permanent structure there, and I will wipe out these neutrals. Okay, they're now gone. You are gonna continue to exp This is a lot more land than I thought there was up here. Okay. This clan is actually sort of wrecking my stuff here. Okay, so now I wanted you to pop over to... Oh, right. It reduces movement points. I forgot. Okay, let's visit the caravan. Is there anything we want to buy? Is there anything we can sell? We're getting a surplus of coal, which is good. But... Is there anything I want to buy? I think I just... Is this cheaper than usual? Oh no, it's better to sell stone blocks. It's more exp Oh, stone blocks have gone up in price, so now is not a good time to buy that. Let me just check. After I study a profession. I want to maybe just get... What are potters even for? Hmm. You know, grab merchants. Uh, let me just check my home base here. If I wanted to fortify, how much would it cost? 20 weapons, jeez. But perhaps I might think of declaring a kingdom, which will cost 25 parchment. So I think I can use my money to start buying parchment. I can buy 18. I think I just spend it all. The next time the caravan comes around, we can buy enough parchment and expand. I captured the farmer on that tile. Wait, there's a that tile has a farmer? I'm just gonna buy all the parchment. We're gonna declare a kingdom this episode. And wait. Oh, there is a farmer in the I did not know. Resourceful will suffer damage on a tile unless it has a supply of at least minus one. Never has desires. Resource production increased by half. Resource production constructed. Oh, how interesting. This clan has been captured. Okay, so that will just start working as soon as I get it in my border, I think. So that will be important. And oh, just notable that, that those grapes are within my border as well. Okay. Okay. We're training a cheesemaker five turns. Okay. Next time the caravan comes around, we can declare a kingdom. We have a few... I've received a gift from Rome. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, Rome is sort of... They know everyone. They, they rule all of these lands. We are just clans within the Roman Empire, basically. And what has Rome given me? Five food. We are losing food, so that's good. Yes, thank you for that. For my loyal service. I haven't really done anything for them, but... That's just... Oh, we got tools. Very nice. And that bandit died. Very nice. Now let's get out of the desert. We can skirt this mountain range. You know, I've not made any tools. Just going through those abandoned things. Is that actually something I can pick up as well then? This thing here? Deserted farm. Oh no, I don't think I can do that. Okay. It is gonna be winter soon-ish, I think. Hmm. And that farm is exhausted? Oh. It is actually... Hmm. Invalid while occupied. Oh, it stays occupied, so I can't take the guy out until the occupation ends. 
And then I can take out that farmer, send him down there, build another farm. Got it. Got it. I understand. Uh, there is still supply here. I was not expecting this much land up here. You... I kind of want this guy to just die. <laughs> I'm going to send you all the way down there. More bandits. Great. Ten turns for the next caravan. That should be great. Uh, we are now getting plus three wood thanks to this. So... This is now producing wood. Become Apprentice. What is a clan sharing the profession of a structure's original builder to join it as an apprentice? Plus six timber per turn per apprentice. That is uh, a lot of resources. So, so this... So this guy is still free to roam, right? Wait, does this building work without the logger there? Or does the logger still have to be there? Hmm. Okay, winter is coming. Things are getting chilly. So, Ralf, I can move you... Wait, Ralf is the farmer. Right, sorry. Ralph, we are sending you down this way. And also, this, I think, is almost exhausted. Yeah, you need to come on back. There is still supply here, so we can keep moving. I thought that was a dead end. There's actually so much stuff there. Uh, there's zero supply here, so I need to encamp until spring. Control E. Just don't die. Okay. This farm has... Oh, it's not functioning. It's offline. Do I want to abandon it? I think it's still got enough turns. So I'll, I'll leave that running. Cheese makers, two turns. Okay, okay. So we've got our first permanent stone structure. So we should probably be expanding, declaring a kingdom, all of that stuff. Reigns are in. I can now train merchants. Great. Uh, this... Where do I want to build my first stone farm? Probably on the large field of barley. Okay, and that... We want to build a barley plantation, which is 20 stone blocks. Okay. You are going to come back into our city here. And just dig in. Very good. There's still supply here. Okay. We just need a bit of the lay of the lands, I think. Ah. Oh, we, we actually win this. The hunter actually wins against the bandit. Interesting. Let's grab bards. I don't know. I, I think my tech is ahead of where I am in the game right now because I was so slow with the other gameplay stuff. My tech sort of is further ahead. Mm. You only take damage when the supply is red. Yellow is still fine. Okay. Uh, you are going to enter a settlement because we need to turn you into a farmer. Wait, is it farmers that build on grapes? We won. Wow. Okay, so all of this is red. Uh... And just hang around there, I guess. So you're going to be building a barley plantation. We need a few more turns. So I'm just going to skip there. You need to get out of there onto that. We have a cheese maker. So produces 15 cheese 
each turn when 20 cattle are stockpiled or... So we have 25 cattle. 15 cheese a turn. What does that mean? Plus 16.5 from cheese. That is so good. That 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 is way better than I thought it was. Wow, okay. Hmm. And it'll be 20 if I had 30 cattle. Okay. Now you are a reaper. I want to train you into farming. Okay. Um, wait, let me just check. Uh, Reaper. What do I need to build a permanent building on this field of grapes? Uh -huh. Gatherer, vineyard, which comes from farmer. Right. Okay, so we just need all this stone. And then we could, we need a permanent mine. Four permanent farms and a permanent cattle ranch. Right, that's a, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times 20. We need 120 stone blocks to build all of the stuff we need. Not to mention the flax that we want from up there. A new clan has joined though. Handy and reserved. Eldrick. They start in crafting. Training time for social professions doubled, so not doubled. Never has desires, never engages in feuds. Starts with three in crafting. Okay, so we just give you something useful to do. Now, you're a farmer, which I will eventually want to put you... So we don't... Oh no, Einar is in there. Okay. Radulf, Zen. I'll eventually put you on the grapes. You just need to wait right there. You can still keep moving around. We just have this logger way out here. <laughs> Okay, we have you. Do we need to train him anything? He's in crafting. We're getting 1.8 coal per turn. I could technically have a second brick maker to speed that up. Wait, does this cost tools? It does cost 10 tools. It's probably worth it. I'm not producing tools or weapons yet, but... I could basically double my stone production. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, are all the maps pre-generated? No, the first few are pre-generated to give you balanced starts, um, and then it's randomly generated. Study a profession, what are we going for? Yeah, um, is anything looking a little lacking? I could probably just make my way up. I mean, it might be cool to have lancers. <laughs> we don't have horses or that many weapons, but I'm just gonna research it first. Okay, okay. Okay, winter is here. Mm, next turn, we can build a permanent farm on this large barley plantation. This is all... I can move on. I did not realize there was so much. Okay, you're heading to that, right? Okay. So we've got a stockpile of coal now. 
clan Waldemar has become upset. I guess I could punish Waldemar because I'm getting a replacement brickmaker. Right. That's what I'm going to do eventually. Okay. You we have enough stone put down a barley plantation plus 4 barley per turn. Yes. Just using this hunter to go out and find things. You... I'm gonna keep scouting around there. You are just gonna build a great plantation eventually. I mean, I could build a vineyard first, abandon it, turn it into a great plantation, but... It would cost a lot of wood to do that. And it's not essential, so I'm just gonna sleep until I have enough stone which will be going along quicker now that I have a second brick maker hmm. okay this hunter's doing work <laughs> um oh I see so we have a second brick maker. We're losing a little bit of coal, doubling our stone production. We'll eventually, once the coal is low, I will punish the feuding brick maker. But for now, I will just produce treasure. Sounds good? Yeah. I have a feeling that I should be getting some fame stuff going, because clans are coming in real slow now. I can now train lancers. Can I actually win this? Probably don't want to. Wait, I shouldn't have moved there, that's a red tile. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, just produce treasure. I know you're all upset, but it's fine. Let us study... I mean, I've heard that if you get knights, you can basically just run out and kill people. Now, uh, one of the victory conditions is to go basically kill Rome, or one of the Romes, because there's two Romes at this point. The other victory condition is to get what? What is the other victory condition? Um, how to win. It is to not conquer the capital city of one of the two Roman empires, become a Magister Militum uh, by sending five clans to become Roman legions. How do you do that? Because I think you, you'll usually end up with around 40 to 50 clans over the course of a single game, really. Huh. Interesting. But how do, is there a tech that I need to do that? We have bards and stuff. Guides, minstrels, produces a large amount of fame, knowledge, instructors. You know, I should probably just unlock the top tier of things. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and research one tech on the third on that tier, second last tier, so then I can have the choice of researching what I want later on. Hmm. You send them away to Rome for 24 months to train at a cost of 10 steel and 10 steel armor, 10 steel weapons. You do it through the laurel button just beside the study. Ah. So because I'm nowhere near Rome, This action requires 24 turns. Must have five Roman legions in the settlement, five still needed. So I need five Roman legions, which is basically 50 steel weapons, 50 steel armor. And it takes 24 turns each? Jeez. 
<laughs> Games take a long time to do. But to do steel... We're gonna need a lot of stuff, aren't we? Um... Just step out. Yeah, just explore out there. Okay, you... Winter is over, so let's make our way down here. This map is pretty big. We're gonna continue producing treasure. So I guess we have to move towards... Oh, you can send them at the same time. Okay. <laughs> I thought you could only send one at a time. And it'll take 24 turns times five. Okay, no, you can send them more than one at a time. So we just need lots and lots of steel to win. Right? Steel weapons, steel armors. Because, yeah, marching out knights to Rome doesn't seem viable. Well, all right. Okay. You pick the fight. Okay, so we have... This map is way more vast than I expected. Also, we have enough money to settle a kingdom. You know, I think I think it's fine if I just settle a kingdom, right? If I visit the caravan, I just need... How much do I need? Um, to declare a kingdom, it takes 25 parchment. I probably want to have some extra. Provides plus 15 fame per turn, plus 2 border range. So I need 4 more parchment, then some spare. Hmm. Parchment, we're gonna buy one, two, three, four. That's for the kingdom. And then I'm going to buy one, two, three, four, five. Good. Stone blocks, don't wanna buy any to speed that along. We're getting plus four. If I just buy one stone block, we can build something next turn. That's a good idea. Um, weapons, armor, maybe I wanna upgrade the caravan. 80? Hmm. That's a good deal on parchment. Oh! It is actually discounted. Has 20 additional par parchment. And it's... Going for 4 each. I should just stock up. I just sold a stone block. Let me rebuy the stone block. <laughs> Parchment. Buy 21 for 84. I think I should just stock up on parchment while it's on sale. Yeah, I'm doing it. Bam. Parchment. 51 parchment. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and declare a kingdom, which costs 25 parchment, and it's just gonna speed up our clan stuff as well. By the way, to increase clan limit, what do I need to do? 10 cloth. Okay. Declare a kingdom. Permanently fixes your settlement, changes our nomadic lifestyle into an actual city. It's a, per it's a permanent decision. I'm gonna do it. History is defined by those who dared to dream. To accomplish anything meaningful, you must first make it reality within your own mind. How does one become a king? It depends. It begins with that most audacious of thoughts. I should be king, shouldn't I? The early medieval era was a time when many dreams were born and many dreams died. Lots of people died as well. Look at this lovely scenery. Very good. We are now a kingdom. Cannot have declared kingdom. Oh, okay. Look at that. Our borders do expand a little bit, I think. I don't know how it counts, but that farm... Oh, right. You. I forgot about you. Abandon. So, what is left here? Wheat farm, we got. So this is this is like, it's empty, right? Settlement is idle. We probably need a bit more money back. Good, good. 
We are now a kingdom. The kingdom of the Goths. I forgot I have 20 stone. Oh, wait, no, that's this turn. Okay. So this is this barley plantation. We're not getting a surplus because we are currently losing food. I forgot we ran out of salt. We don't have any more salt for cheese. It's not giving me a warning that there's not enough salt. Usually there's a... Hmm. Okay, well, you can build a grape plantation. This will lead us to wine, which could be handy later on. But we just kind of need a bit of food right now, so... Plus four grapes per turn. Alright, get down to business. Now, this farmer can eventually build something there. You? Oh, come on. It was empty just now. Fine, whatever. I'm just gonna move on. Okay, those barbarians are hunting me down a little bit. There's some nice stuff here. Is that another abandoned deserted fortress? Ooh. Give leader reply. What's going on? I believe it's time for us to walk together in the spiritual journey laid before us. Do you agree? Submissive. Minus reputation plus influence plus relationship level. Plus reputation, minus two influence, minus two relationship level. Plus two reputation, minus four influence, minus four relationship level. They're asking me to convert. He has zero friends, three enemies. You know, I probably don't want to be friends with the guy with all enemies. But I don't want to provoke him into attacking me yet either because my military is just garbage. So I'm just gonna say, I'm sorry but I can't accept that is going to hurt our reputation, uh, hurt our influence with them. But basically Clovis, no. I'm sorry but I can't accept. I see, may your soul one day be guided to the light. Uh, minus six. Does it actually say what this means? Max is minus 10. Okay, so we're getting there. <laughs> uh, well, okay, wait. Uh, I just want to produce more. How are we now evening out on coal? I thought we were losing coal. Produce treasure. Also, the Franks are... It's not... That's the Saxons. Who's the Franks? Is it these guys? What color are they? The light blue. So the light blue and green are probably fighting. So I don't think they're a threat to me. I don't think they're going to walk all the way up here. Saxons I might want to ally with just to, just to figure that out. Also, you are making your way to there. Okay. Good. 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 My influence with them is already crap. Yeah, I know. We're not going to be friends with them. Jeez. We might lose to Excelius. Because I can't heal and I can't get home. I was just looking for more animals to hunt and stuff. Wait, where did those bandits come from? There were bandits in the fortress. Not all goody huts are so goody, are they? Onto the hill with trees for defense. Okay. <sighs> because their desire has not been granted, Clan Arendt has become angry. Really? Oh. Hmm. Do I let them just be angry? Um. 
We don't have anyone who controls people in here. I'm gonna have to punish my brick maker. But I need so much, so many stone blocks. I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Otherwise my coal maker will just stop making coal. Alright, we're gonna have to punish Waldemar, which should make Arndt happier. Wait. Why did... Oh, okay, no, that, that was... Desire granted. And you're now nothing. So I guess I just retrain you into... I mean, I don't really have another use for you, so I want you to go back to doing what you were doing. Um, where is it? Where's the brick maker? Oh, that costs 10 tools. Jeez. Well, I could make you a miner. I'll take... Eight turns. At least then you could go out and build the mine. Okay. Train Waldemar in metalworking so that I could make you a miner a little quicker so that you can go out and build the mine. Okay. Well, that's... That's what we got. That's what we got. Uh, not the best situation. Uh, the feud happened between two of the key people. Uh. You're not happy? Great. That's nice of you. I have a surplus of wood. I probably just want to sell wood and buy stone blocks. That's just... Ooh, we have this now, though. Wait, is this not permanent? It says 18 turns. No, no, it should be permanent, right? Because it always says the number of turns left, right? This still has... Oh, it's not functioning right now. Plus 4 from grapes, plus... 10.75 from barley, minus 20 consumed by clan families. Okay. You are still trying to get down there. That is defended. Let's run away. <laughs> uh, and you... Gonna keep running. There's so many bandits down here. Come on. Okay. Waldemar, we're gonna train you. Does this cost anything? No. We're gonna make you... Still six turns. Okay. Well. Just become a miner. No rush, really. Okay. Just gotta make sure I don't deplete that barley farm. Clan Hulbert. Leprous and aggressive. I should retrain the captured farmer into a tiller or a baker. That's probably a better idea to Excelius. Okay. Okay. Run down that way. New clan has joined. Attack power increased by one quarter. Likelihood of des having desires doubled. Might engage in feuds and crimes. The mood of all other clans on the tile is reduced by two levels. We need this guy out. Resentful, minus three. Okay. 
What can I turn Hulbert into? I think I will ignore Waldemar and train Hulbert in a discipline that gets him out of the city. I guess I'll make him the miner? Yeah, I'll make Hulbert the miner. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, you are getting in there. Enter settlement. We're going to retrain you into something. You still scouting. You still looking around. More bandits. Okay, Hulbert. I want to boost you up. Again? I think I will. Metal working again, then I'll turn you into a miner, send you over there. Hmm. I, I need... I need more stone blocks. Caravan has arrived. Okay. I need to buy some salt. Let's not forget that. Okay. That's a dead end. Good to know. Visit caravan. We are going to buy. How much should I buy? There's a deal on wool. I think I sell... I sell timber, because I'm not using that much for anything. Are the bird sounds in-game? Yes, yes. Uh, specifically, this game is d designed without music so that the in-game environmental sounds are highlighted. That is a design decision by John Schaefer. Uh, and it's it's an interesting decision. Some people like it, some people don't. So I'm going to sell wood. You can build watchtowers from wood, right? Are those permanent? And I'm going to buy like 10 salt. Okay. And then I could... I think I just buy more stone, because once we get all that going, then we've got an economy. So I'm going to buy more stone blocks and sell more timber. We have how much? 84? We, yeah, I don't need that much timber lying around. I'm going to go down to 40 and buy another... Two. So that next turn... Actually, no, I'm just going to buy up to 20 so that this turn I can build something. Now, Hulbert, I want you to become a miner. Thank you. And this has how many turns left? Exhausted in three turns. I'm going to abandon this farm now before I forget. Okay, which I don't know if it destroys a resource, but we'll we'll find out. Um, this Vander, what does fortify do? Oh, you can fortify. Oh, interesting. You can fortify. I didn't know you could fortify these things, which extends its border. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Um. I want a permanent mine, then we can finally start producing irons, iron, we'll get iron, which will then, does that lead to steel? Iron deposit, gives us iron, can be used by a steel maker who takes two steel 
Two steel from four iron, four coal each turn. Training costs 30 tools. Okay, so we do need that to be a permanent mine for iron, which leads us to steel, which leads us to our win condition. Okay. We'll get the miner next turn. We are... Are we getting cheese? Finish turn. We're gonna have to expand our clan limit soon. Next time the caravan comes by, we're gonna need to buy 10 cloth. We can now train men at arms. Okay. Um, so is this giving us cheese? Okay, wait. First, Hulbert. Head down to there. Oh, so building a farm and abandoning destroys the resource, does it? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so I probably want to build a plantation here next. But I'm just going to ask you to sleep right there. You. It's so big. Okay. Now, Waldemar. Um, if I train... Watchmen. Watchmen can build watch towers, which is... Costs 20 timber. Border range of three tiles. Can produce fame if assigned apprentices, unlike other structures, can be constructed by watchmen anywhere on the map, even outside your existing borders. Hmm. I need that. And you are just upset and kind of useless. So I'm actually going to train Waldemar back into, well, into, uh, wait, can you be honor? What are your traits? I mean, you're kind of unhappy anyway. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to train Waldemar in honor, make her a watchman, and send them off. Away from everyone. Study profession, so we've unlocked the top layer of that. Uh, we could just research the things we need for our victory condition. Not that, though. So, steel makers we have researched. We're going to need 30 tools to do that. Um, so, we get steel armor from steel armor smiths. Where do we get steel weapon smiths? This one. So we're going to need to research that. So our win condition is in steel. Okay, okay. I definitely need another brick maker. Actually, we're starting to get to the point where most of our resources are covered. So you... No move points remaining, okay. You... Oh, come on! You, that is scorched, oof, deserted farm. So this is, oh, this is not just desert, this is scorched, right. That is a weather effect. Uh, I wanted to train a watchman in Waldemar. Now will take six turns, but I don't want to invest any more in Waldemar. Okay, let's get an iron mine going. <sighs> so we have three... Oh no, floods. Is it okay? I think things are fine. Okay. You. Iron shaft mine. Iron shaft mine structure constructed uh, by miners. Harvest iron can be refined into tools and weapons. Uh, stone blocks, yes. Plus four iron per turn. Yes. This mine is run by the leper. Very good. Good, 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 good. Um, run up that way. Oh, this way. Okay. There's a lot of food there. That's great. All of this is scorched. What? What's the month? Early August. Is it that hot? Well, it's yellow, so we should be able to get through this. That's not scorched. 
right. This is just a place of desert barbarians. Clan Ingle has joined. We are maxed out on clans now. They are gluttonous. Food consumption increased by half. And they're dabbler. They start in level 1. Metalworking adds 5 tools to the stockpile. Okay. Likely to get upset within a year if forced into profession outside of metalworking. Okay. You can be a tool maker, armor maker, weapon maker. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add a note. Uh, smith. Stay as a smith. Uh, that's not a nice color. Yeah, go for a metal color. There we go. Yeah, it's a little sky blue. Go with the gray. Yeah, that looks good. Smith. Okay, he eats more, but will be useful. Okay. okay. So still getting 2.1 stone per turn. It's a little slow, but uh, we need another 20, 40. We need another 40 stone blocks to to do this. I want to build a watchtower up here to take um, the flax. And then I could potentially build a watchtower over here to get these two bees and these two plants. I could build a watchtower down here to get the sheep. You know, we do, despite accidentally depleting some resources, we are still quite open. There's so much food here. Like, if I build a watchtower over there, that could be interesting. Now, clans are idle. Uh, you are still wandering around. What is that? Deserted city. Do we get anything if we walk on that? I haven't walked on a deserted city. Um... There's more defense here, so walk there. Oh, they got horsemen. Okay, we might lose our explorer, but we've actually explored quite a bit of the world now. Still no Rome. The nice thing about the hunter, though, is we can just start hunting out here and it adds to our stockpile. That's quite good. <laughs> and we'll go one more turn into the stone... Uh, it's stone. The iron mine there. So that resource is still there. We now have this. We're now getting plus four iron a turn. And we did just get this guy, which I can train into a smith to use that iron to get stuff. Yes, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. We're finally getting enough clans and stuff to get stuff going. Clans are idle. Uh, there's more barbarians. Run the other direction. You... Oh, well, we don't really have anywhere else to go. We'll just try and survive. Okay. And I'm just gonna go... One more turn into the caravan, because I need to buy cloth. So let's not forget that. Yeah. Do we die? Do we lose the guy? Oh, it's actually pushed back. He's pretty much dead. That might be the end of scouting to the south. Uh, you. That's a lot of neutrals. Cancel. Just wait right there. Visit caravan. Wait, how many... How much cloth do I need? We need... 10 cloth. Caravan. Uh... Cloth, cloth. Oh, do I actually have a surplus of cheese? No, I don't have a surplus of cheese. That's a lot of text. Okay, cloth is here. I want to buy 10 for 60. Okay. And then I probably want to buy some stone blocks. But let's sell some timber first. Uh, we currently have 60. Let's go down to 30, so that I can buy 8 costs 96, geez. Eh. 
don't need the cash right now for anything. It'll cost 80 to upgrade the caravan again. Yeah, I think I just buy 8. That'll give me 20 right now. Allowing me to build one more stone structure. Where am I? Okay. So I can... Do this and get a wheat plantation down right now. And increase clan limit with the 10 cloth I bought up to 24. And that's good. Look at that. Look at that. We now have a kingdom. We have one, two, three, four, and five stone structures. We have 18 clans. We have iron coming in. We have our eyes on the victory condition, which will be to get 50 steel weapons and 50 steel armor. And... Yeah, I, th I think we have a plan moving forward. We're going to get a watchman in a couple turns to get the flax, which gets us cloth and oil, which will allow us to heal. And those stuff are just really great. We can then expand over to this side to get more honey and sheep, which will be great. I think I could put a watchtower like right here to get the sheep, that grain, that wheat and that honey. So we have those three by one single watchtower. That should be good. And yes. I think I'm past the struggling to survive part. Um, also, do we have... I'm going to buy one salt. <laughs> Just to keep the cheese going, because we do have... Yeah, this, this UI needs to be fixed, because it's going off screen. There's so much text going on. But yeah. I think that's good for part three of At The Gates. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to get the game yourself, you can use the Humble Bundle referral link down below if you want to support the channel. But that's going to be it for our game so far. We, I am interested in moving into the... I think we're solidly into the mid-game now. We're going to go into the sort of later mid-game and an end game within the next one or two parts. Good, good. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.